You rascals go. What is it? Take 67. <laughs> it's freeze, man. Sunday back in here. Talk shit again. Is it appropriate for a bum to walk up to your garage and ask for money? Never, bro. Never, never. Uh, unheard of, man. Like, this shit, unheard of, sir. For all in everything. <laughs> when did they start getting bold enough to go door to door like that? Like when did that? Ha- like wh- where? Like what is that? Is that a thing? During a pandemic, when you're supposed to stay away from people. On so yeah, on top, pand like oh my gosh. I felt like say, so, can I have a dollar? <laughs> he asked for just one dollar, just one dollar. If I said, can I have a dollar? Like he I didn't. Said, I need a dollar too. <laughs> He didn't know who was in the garage. The man seen feet. That's it. None but feet, bro. Are you going to ask feet for money? I, don't mind I, I do not approve, bro. man. You don't come to people's like property and just ask. Yeah, that's like, weird, you like know, what? Door to door asking for money? That's crazy, sir. Quick little rant about him, man, because <laughs> unnecessary actions. It's a good hustle, though. No? Don't you think? It's, it's like... No. Don't hustling. come to my garage. Go away. That's all I got to go house, away. Give him a job. You should, you should have just give him a job, job for what, bro? I don't mow your lawn. Fam, you don't go to door to door for a job, bro. You don't give go to... 10 bucks. I don't cut. You don't go to people's personal houses for jobs and or money. Just randomly, man. <laughs> like, they got things that can help you accomplish those goals. Not door to door. I don't know, man. I just found that super weird and one to rant about it. Man interrupted verses, you know? Try to interrupt verses. <laughs> yeah, like, we was watching verses. Like, come, like, verses. How do you feel about verses? I liked it, so I think that's the best verses I've seen right now. How do you, what do you or think of the return? battle? That's one of the In terms of performance, overall music, the Snoop, vibe. Snoop was lit. <laughs> Snoop was lit the Snoop whole battle. Lit. He was dancing up a storm, man. Holy shit. How old is Snoop Dogg? Close to 50. Like, I 50 think he's 50. Old. He's, he's 50 moving, bro. He was yeah, moving, bro. Crip walking everywhere. At least 30 C's imprinted on the floor. <laughs> At least. Crip walking everywhere, man. I think they could have chose better tracks. All right, we're yeah, just going to cut you off right <laughs> away. They chose better tracks. I think they chose good tracks. They only had 20 songs. They yeah, did good with the songs, man. They did good with the songs, man. I can't pick a winner between the it's two tough. of them. What about you? It's tough, but I, I, honestly, I think the second half, I, le- I was leaning toward DMX more. Yeah, so I they just like, both I, have I songs that tough. can't be matched. Like I was saying earlier, like Snoop Dogg doesn't have a song that goes against what these bitches want. Yeah. And then DMX just doesn't have a song that goes against Gangster Party for me. Like Gangster Party was hard. It's just that they both have crazy records. And salute to DMX for going against Snoop Dogg. Because yeah. Snoop Dogg's been a consistent rapper in the game for like almost 30 years. Man. Yeah. Like straight consistent. So. And he still dropped DMX has been consistent, but not as Yeah, he just kind of stay out of trouble, Snoop you know? Dogg. But X, yeah, it's good to see him healthy, bro. Mm. Look, X look good today. Yeah, they put on a good show, and I came to realize that I'm not watching it on Instagram no more. Yeah, on uh, versus the yeah. Apple Apple TV. You can't see shit. Yeah. Like watching it on the, on the phone compared to watching on the Apple thing is like yeah, you see the whole thing, no no lagging. Yeah, there's a lot of the screen missing yeah. when you're watching it on live. So um, I, think I don't want to really plug thing. Apple, but. I'd recommend watching it on Apple. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> People always have it on YouTube too. People leak it, you know, to mm-hmm. get the good quality. Mm-hmm. What do you What do you think the next battle is gonna be? 
Or has it even been announced yet? No, not that I know. Not yet? But I think they're going to switch it up again and go to R&B or go to old school again or something. Did they have Usher go yet for R&B? No, I don't think they did Usher. Usher is going to be a tough one to beat. I think they've just done like the Neo and and then they did the Teddy Riley and thing. I think those are the singing ones so far. Oh yeah, and um, Alicia Keys and John Legend. John Legend? Yeah. Let me see that one. Let's see that. So they are kind of versatile. They've done the Beanie Man and was it Bounty Killer? I think like it was like last month? Killer. Yeah. Yeah. So they have been like switching it up, doing different kinds of genres and shit. Then they got X. This is the last one right now. Was the one before this they did? A Fab was that? Yeah, it was the Fab and Jada. Yeah, Fab yeah Jada. I feel like they're going to go to an R&B one or reggae or something different next. I think they need an R&B one. I actually want to see Usher in there. Mm. Like somebody that's like has like a good catalog. Mm. I wouldn't mind seeing more of like lower, lower class. No, I don't want to say lower class. Like, <laughs> saying lower class is crazy. Um, like, lower tier artists, I guess. See more of them battle each other. Mm-hmm. Like the people with like more crazy hits. Yeah, more underground there, something like that. Yeah. I'm down for that. Yeah, definitely. I'm down for that. I think verse is a good thing. It's like rejuvenated, like, because people forget about the old school hits and how long these people had runs for mm-hmm. so it was good for like the young people to actually see that like these guys were in the game for a reason for that mm-hmm. long for a reason mm-hmm. that's true yeah. yeah I'm looking forward to the next one so what else we got going on here man pod wars man there's, there's pod wars in the air Gilly. And call him Joe Butthead. That's what they named the podcast. Joe Butthead. Doofus. They're just name calling each other right now, man. It's good entertainment, though. It is. It's good entertainment. Uh, G- Gilly the Kid went on his rant, of course, as we expected. But I didn't say nothing yet. Yeah, I didn't hear nothing yet. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't hear a response for that one. Hopefully it just dies away, cause yeah. hopefully after, not that too serious, cause like come on, they're both you know eating off of this. Yeah, and then after a few times, it's like it gets boring and time to move on or something. All right. Gilly was putting on some major claims though. Yeah, how <laughs> Buttons doesn't own his own. Uh, Told me he doesn't own his show. He doesn't own the uh, anything basically. That's my stuff. Told me he doesn't own his IP. Do we own our IP? I don't know what our IP is. That. Hopefully we own our IP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Pod Wars. I think it's entertaining, though, for the year. This, this is the first Pod War we've ever seen. Pod, pod Beefs. Battle of the Light Skin Brothers. Who could yell the loudest and make the most animated mm-hmm. <laughs> faces? Get, uh, I don't want to. Gilly the kid gives off like a like a puppet, puppet mouth, man. He's got like a puppet mouth to me. Come on, Gilly's hilarious. Yeah, that's so expressive. Uh, whatever, we move on from that. Hopefully, they squash their beef. I don't know. Talk about the new video I seen from Saint John and Future. I want to bring this up because I'm a fan of Saint John's music. It's consistent. I'm, I don't know music. if I'll say consistent. I think it's because the last... that much music out. He has, he has two tapes out already. Mm. I would like more tape. music than that, but maybe I'm greedy. But out of everything he's dropped, it's all like A-plus stuff, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? He doesn't really have filler music, songs that you want to skip, or anything like that. It's like all the solid work. So maybe I understand why he takes a bit longer to put it up. Because the quality is... It's, yeah, he has actually really good quality. He has great quality with his music. He takes his time with his music, too. Mm-hmm. His sound is, like, yeah. His sound is, like, very, very... He's just different from everybody. He doesn't make... His lane is, like, by himself. Him and RMR. 
would be good. And RMR doing a song together. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. That would be good. Do you like the Roses remix though? Yeah, I like that song. Somebody was hating on Future's verse, but <laughs> I didn't mind his verse. You know what I mean? Future's the original good. song just by itself was already a good song. Yeah, that was, was already, already a great number. song. So. Future on the remix is another addition, I guess. I think it's a good look. Hmm. Where is he from? Like Brooklyn? Brooklyn? I think he's from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah New York artist. Yeah, New York you can't really tell. Talent. Yeah, they have plenty of talent. Oh yeah, plenty of people. Plenty. Hopefully, they have some talent there. A lot of people squeezed in that little place. I'm surprised I don't have as much cases as Florida when that much people there. Oh, you're talking about Dorona? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Poor America, man. I'm not none of that. What was St. John's first album called? I think it was Collection Collection One. Yeah, collection, collection one. one was his first, and then Ghetto, Ghetto Lenny's love songs. Ghetto Lenny, you can't even skip a track on Ghetto Lenny. No, at all. From, that's the that's from, the from, first project I heard from him. From the first, and then I went last, back and listened yeah. to the Collection One after I already heard Ghetto Lenny. His production is amazing too. Yeah, he yeah, has his great production. Is actually crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for his next project though. He has to be dropping something. Yeah, I would. I would say this remix coming out is like a, a build up to something new. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe under the circumstances he doesn't want to release music. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's just perfecting it. Maybe he's caught in an entanglement. Heard is a ghostwriter too, so he probably writes for a lot of people. So busy. Mm. August Alzina's new song. Tanglement. You think I think it's wrong for that. You feel like he's sending shots at Will or something yeah. like that? He already did too much, bro. Like yeah. Will could Excuse me, Will, sir. You're Will, doing too much. You know, Will could have went about it a different way, but mm-hmm. you don't have to make a song. He already came out and said it, we already know. If you would have came out with a song first before Will and Jada came out and talked about it, then yeah, but now I don't think I don't want to hear it. I think that news is just blown out. I don't mind him making... How do you think it would play out in the public if it, if the genders were reversed? Like if it was a female coming out about having a relationship with a big-time um, male actor who was married to another female actor. Like, yeah. Do you think it would play out the same way? People would have the same things to say? Or do you think it would be completely different. They would have called Will the worst person in the world. Um, yeah, they would have came for his neck. They would have came for Will's neck. Yeah, like, they would have been on his head top. Look how they did uh, Tiger Woods years back. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel what people do at home, it, what they're dealing with, like, relationship-wise, should not do, involve with your music, whatever you do. Not mm-hmm. people want to cancel people because they, they had a divorce, they did that, they cheated. I don't think that has nothing to do with your music. That's, that's their life. Kind of mm-hmm. dealing with their own thing, you know? And that's their life is what yeah. makes the music anyways. Their experiences. So how yeah. they're able to make music. So, Come on, more things with that. I don't know if you can if you can tell one man to not sing or express his experiences if that's what he wants to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I feel if it was a girl that came out and wanted to express her feelings about a situation that happened, I think the public would be more... Accepting? Yeah, like more on her side, side more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Compared to as August coming out, it's more of a... Like, like see how people are making memes out about Will's thing. Mm. You know what I mean? They're just making fun of him. But the, meme people, the meme people <laughs> are just waiting in the crevices yeah. for anything to happen. They're like tow truck guys on the side of the road. They're just waiting. As soon as the accident's there, boom. Generate. The meme people. <laughs> Well, some of them have me dying, though. I can't even Like, they probably have a whole building rented out, and they're all just in there. They all follow everybody in life. And as soon as something happens, they're on it. They're fast. Instantly. (laughs) Yeah, instant memes, man. That's their business name, too. Instant memes. (laughs) (laughs) They could bear jokes, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
All right, well, poor August. You know what I mean? Hopefully you get over your heartbreak, sir. <laughs> Hedy One and Drake. Big tune. I'll pass it to you because, you know, he's more of a UK brother than me. Yeah. I think that's like one of the hardest Drake verses mm. in a long time. Because I didn't even like the, the other two tracks that he just dropped before that. No. And they're like, uh, for me, they're all right. I like this one. I like when he raps, raps, you know, mm. more so. Because sometimes he overdoes the, the singing shit. People forget mm. he could actually rap. Shit like that. He's like a chameleon, kind of. Like, he's able to do He's able to do all different types of... Everything. You know what <laughs> I mean? He's able to, whatever, adapt to any musical style and just help it. Like, how much, how much views did the song do in a day? Uh, Three million. Yeah, like, does does Hedy One himself have any songs that get views like that? Or in a day? A, yeah. No, he'll do half a million in a day. Or, like, even, like, he'll, total. He'll, does yeah, he have other uh, videos that yeah, he does. Have? Hedy, Hedy yeah. is nice. He's he a does. big artist like that. Yeah, he See, I don't know. Numbers. I don't know nothing about Hedy. That song is the first time me hearing his name. Hedy's been grinding for like years, like at least like the last four years. He's been putting in work, consistent, mm. and he has his own sound too. Mm. Thirteen million one video. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen man. Yeah. So he does get views. He does get views. But this one is like pushing him further. Yeah. So Drake does. Man. Because Hedy actually just, like, he's been in the scene for a minute, but his breakout is probably, like, last year. Like, this whole, like, last year has mm-hmm. been his breakout year. And Drake is smart. Whoever breaks out that year, he kind of jumps into their tracks because he's kind of... And he helps them, right? It's, it's like you're getting the biggest artist mm-hmm. in the game, jumping in your track. Drake's flow on that song, is that, like, a Hedy flow? Is that his style? Or did Drake have his own UK flow on that? Drake kind of been doing the UK flow, too, even with Wartime. Okay, so it's more of like his own more style. Kind of, he doesn't kind of mix too much, but he doesn't sound like any other UK artist. Not in this track. Not on that so. track. I think so. Okay. It was more so Drake in this one. The War track was a war. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he kind of sounded like a bunch of UK rappers at once. Okay, on that one. But this one, I don't think he did. Okay. Drake's the Energizer Bunny of rap, man. Been on like a ten year, twelve. 13 year run or something, man. 2018? 20, I mean, 2008? Yeah, man. Go Toronto, bro. Mush up the place, yes. What other songs did he drop with fucking Khaled? We the best. It's a bold lie. You guys are definitely not the best, but moving on. I don't know. Didn't they have Popcorn, Vado? No, not Popcorn. Yeah, Vado. Popcorn? Yeah. No, my Vado. Yeah. They had Movado but, and Vado. And Vado. How do you sign Movado and, and Vado? <laughs> that just sounds crazy. <laughs> that just sounds the same label signing Movado and Vado. That's funny to me. What do you think about those two songs? Pop Star and Grease. The Pop Star song is cool, you know what I mean? Yeah. Jake's on his regular is wavy more... stunt and talk. And then the Grease song is like It's more melody and different, yo. Yeah. What a different sounding song, man. It's like an album. Track. I don't know. I've only heard it twice, so I gotta hear it a couple more times. Yeah. It's like, you know, when you're eating something, and you don't know if it tastes good. Like, yeah, you have to like take it in a bit. Try more. that chip again. Like, is this? Like, yeah, I got. I gotta listen to that one more time. See where I'm going with that. He must be dropping another tape. Drake. Yeah. He's just nonstop, bro. Working. The Energizer Bunny of rap, man. And just keeps going and going. Consistent. Very consistent. Very consistent. Because he's throwing shots at anybody on, on the um on the Hedy and Hedy one song? I I think he took a shot at uh I think it took a shot at Pusha. Shot at Pusha, talking about Pusha think, and, and Kanye great. still on there? Because yeah. when he said that line what I got rid of your is it your boss or your big what's that line he said? Can't Something like that. Yeah. I haven't heard I think that song about, I think enough to know. Kanye West and, and Pusha. Because Pusha just had a recent track talking about him. Mm. <coughs> yeah, he's some, some bar boy you might buy a house it's in nice Mississauga. Nice as Drake is, though, I think he's, he's scared. Them niggas in Mississauga bust a rock to your window, Pusha T. <laughs> Stop your foolishness. I want to, bro. They can throw a whole brick through your fucking window you buy a house in Mississauga. He probably could, though. 
throw a whole fucking juice box at your fucking window. <laughs> I only said that because I want to talk about Juice World's new album. Rest in peace, Juice World. First of all, is it the number one album right now? I think he did a crazy number. Before he died, like I was just starting to listen to him, mm-hmm. been- and he was wavy stuff. He was actually wavy. To me, he gave off that like um, XXX sound. Nah, like that two thousands. Um, hey now, you're an all star. Like that, oh. <laughs> like that type of sound. No. You know what yeah, I mean? No, no, what you mean, though. Like, he gave off that type of sound, but, like, in, in more of a hip-hop way. I don't know. It just... Like, that party sounded, happy music. Yeah, it just yeah. sounded good. Like, it just sounded good. The content was kind of... But just the sound of it was... You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He, has a, he has a crazy fan base. What for for them to do those kind of numbers. He sold 210 album. That's good, man. First week. Yeah. That's good, man. Too bad he's not here, though. Reap the benefits of all the music yeah. he's put out. And he was Great doing numbers before he even passed, you know? Mm-hmm. He was his... Mm-hmm. He was on his way there. Helped Lil Bibby stop rapping. Yeah. Lil Bibby had him. He didn't give a shit about making another yeah. song. Huh? That <laughs> little motherfucker, bro. <laughs> that kid don't care nothing about making songs. Nah. No. Found himself juicy. Lil Bibby's smart. To Sad to see him not be able to grow. You know what I mean? Musically? Oh, Juice World. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like he would have stuck around in music for a long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, his, he was just so different that he would have just stuck around for a while. And he came in the scene fast, too. Just going fast. His lyrics and that kind of stuff. A lot of people relate to his kind of lyrics that he had out. It's own, like, crowd, Some, yeah. of, crowd of people, I guess. It could be its own genre, too. Kind of music like how Triple X made. Yeah. Triple X was kind of in that lyrical content, no? Because he, he sings too, all of that. I just like when people actually come from like those rough environment, don't really talk about that shit too much in their music. Because you hear it from every other rapper, right? Mm-hmm. What other songs came out? Got, uh, what, do you, what do you got from the UK for me, man? Am I gonna hate on it? Am I gonna like it? Like, what? Hate it or love it? Oh, you, you try to hate, hate it on, or love it? This guy tried to hate on Africa. We can make that a whole. We can make that a whole segment, yo. You pop off a UK song to me, and I can hate it or love it. You know what I mean? Maybe we could change my mind. No, I think the Abracadabra on deck. That's like, is that the I'm song you're listening to out there? It's on repeat. Yeah. Oh, I gave him the thumbs down, man. Because you can hear it. listen to a couple more times. Took shots a couple of people on that track too. What's the UK? What what's the UK beef scene like? Like I don't know nothing about the UK beef scene. Too serious. It's, it's too, too much, serious. Because there's so much rappers there. So much. It's like, and a lot of them are beefing, mm. and you could hear it in their talk. In their like in their tracks, they're talking about each other most of the time. It's like the drill. Same thing with Chicago, right? Just more it's knives and Chicago shit. If yeah. They had guns. Yeah. They're just knifing it over Knives the and there's, yeah. But they're the most consistent. I think they're, they're making like, I think they're making the best music because they're the only people that are still rapping. People don't understand them, but they're only people still rapping. Beer, I want to push my blade in a pagan. <laughs> Beer bars like that, eh? Push my blade in a pagan. <laughs> they're really the music scene, though. You can see it. Yeah, like, they have why, a big fan base Dra- in Toronto. Like, that's I why. That's why Drake is like always, like you know, yeah. messing with them. He has like tracks yeah. with gigs. This guy, can, he's been doing it for the last like what four years or so. Even Lil Baby, Lil Baby has a track with a couple of them too. Mm. Like, so, a whole showing lot their of real music is coming out of like New York now because of these guys. Yeah, but that's not. I can't call it like, it's their own thing, you know. What? It's kind of their own drill. Is Abra Kadabra a, a fucking um, magician? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> but he's, just like, nah, he's, he's not a magician? He's not a magician. He's a magician. My bad. Bro. I was just thinking. Man, <laughs> chef niggas in the streets daily, dog. Oh, my bad, bro. <laughs> my bad. The ghost disappears for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't <laughs> know it was like those ghosts. I didn't know it was like that, man. Yeah. The last two songs that we came out with, yeah, I've been rocking with them. That's the Abra Kadabra that needs to be like 
making music. Because he came out the gate snapping from his first song. Then he kind of fell off for like a year, just quiet. He, he was in jail. Was he, when, when he, before he even was went he to jail, jail, the shit Alakazam? he was releasing wasn't good. Yeah, it was. Like he, he wasn't he releasing nothing. Singer, he wasn't in jail at Alakazam? <laughs> <laughs> but he's in jail at Alakazam. They took away his magic stick. So, uh, I mean, Alakazam yeah. was soulmates and shit. Yeah. Okay. I understand now. What we got? What other music you have? We got Pax. Pew Pew. You want to pew, talk pew. about that now or you want to wait till... We can wait for that one. Yeah. I, I like that video. What other songs? OBNJ or something like that? Oh yeah, OBNJ from... Uh, it's from BR. Mm-hmm. It's been... This is like probably his fourth... Fourth, fourth taper and all. Okay. I'm not familiar with him. Oh, nah. No. I'm never really bumped him. He has a track with Jack Boy Man. He has a couple of tracks with uh, Young and Ace. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's probably like, what, 19 or so? Uh, young rapper. Yeah. He went on... Uh, I be hearing 19. He made Juvenile's beat. Huh? Now you're 19, I be feeling old, yeah, right? <laughs> Holy shit. Sure. I was a 19 for a minute, man. Yeah. What other songs you got? I think it's whole tape. From mm. the tape. It's tough. He has that and Nola in there. And then I got uh Three, three to the Dawn? Yeah. Who's Three to the Dawn? Them name that? Easy. Just, Just drop Grimey. Okay. The video is crazy. Hot, hot video. <laughs> hot <laughs> video? Super hot video, but it's good to see him back. Was this the first song he made in like four Six, years? Seven years, man. Like a minute. Four. I think the last thing I seen is like 2016, 2014? Yeah, around there. Yeah. Hmm. But in Edmonton, he's <coughs> yeah he started that. Edmonton legend. He's the he's the first he's the first to actually start first making, artist yeah. to have a face at Edmonton and, and doing doing numbers by himself. You know. Yeah. You always yeah. have to salute artists you have to like salute that. that. Anybody yeah. that was like the first of. To make sure to give them their credit. Yeah. Crazy videos, but I just hope he comes with more content too, like more, more, more songs? tracks, you know, more songs. Mm. I always be wanting rappers to at the end of their videos to put a, like a sample of their next song. They're gonna, you know yeah. what I mean? Like a snippet of or yeah, something. So yeah, so you know, yeah. I always be wanting rappers to do that. I don't really see that that much, but just a note. I think it would help a lot of rappers, like build anticipation yeah you know what i mean like you drop a hot song and then at the end of it you give them a preview of a next song that you're about to drop you know now you're build up the anticipation people are like yo when's that song dropping it's facts hmm. it's popping with the news in the world man what's going on in the world man well, what's happening news? in mexico i seen I wanted to talk about this because just the headline alone was crazy to me. You know what I mean? 23 children have been rescued after being abducted and forced to sell hand handcrafts in a tourist town in southern Mexico. Like, that's fucking crazy to me, bro. That's a Yo, lot of stolen wild, kids, bro. bro. Uh, were they, the children were, they? were ranging in age from 3 months to 15 years old. From three months. months. Three months. Yeah. Fucking still in three month old babies and shit. That's crazy, man. The fuck's going on in Mexico? Nah, they, that three, that, they must have been sold. The three months. The mother must have sold them. People are just out here selling no, kids. It's 2020, man. What are you, yeah. It's not fucking dark ages or something right now. It's like 2020. This world's fucked up. Bro, yeah. The world needs like a long time out right now. There's so That's much crazy. shit. Yeah, the whole world needs to go in the corner, man. Three women were arrested on human trafficking and forced labor charges. Did they get the I doubt they were the only ones involved. Like, yeah, you know there had I mean? to be like, more. Three ladies, like, there's other people involved. They'll probably get booked soon, too. Is this, like, the first kids they found, or there's, like, numbers? I more? think I think one kid... One one kid went missing, and then it led to them finding all the other kids. So, 
whatever they were doing, they kidnapped the wrong kid and the cops and people weren't playing a book. But it took like 23. Yeah. So like 22 other kids were kidnapped and they didn't find them until... Like that's some movie shit. That's like, that's <laughs> depressing, bro. To even hear about shit like that. Like that's, it's kind of depressing. You know what I mean? That's all it's been though lately, man. And then it was just bare, bare bullshit. A lot of bullshit. What's happening in America? America's always on some fucking bullshit. Yeah. Who they, they got? They killed fucking all. whacking judges or some shit like yeah. that. What happened? Is like was it Estelle Cialis? I can't remember the U.S. They killed her son. Salas. Salas. Yeah. U.S. I District Attorney. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, bro. America's fucked up, bro. But the guy was a lawyer too, wasn't he? The guy that that uh. The guy that shot him yeah. was a lawyer. Yeah, Dan Hollander. What? Yeah, you know, Dan Hyman to shoot people? Or, that's crazy, man. Yo. <laughs> or something, yeah. It's just... What? Uh, that's some typical American thing. Nah, not, not, not typical. Ever... What, do you think, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen, though, when all of that shit leaked? Do you think people are going to care? Because the, these people are sick. Because they're trying to protect this guy, you know? What do you think is going to happen? Because I feel like people are just going to forget about it a month or so. Yeah, maybe, like maybe people's not. attention span is like very small. The public will, we, but of course, will. the people only go for whatever they're told to go for. Whatever is in the news is what people is going to be riled up about. You know what I mean? Yeah. If stuff's not in the news and put in our faces, people are not going to be riled up about it. That's because they don't even know about it. What else is going on in Edmonton, man? Oh, yeah, we're seeing a video, Man in Short Park. Man, I'm sure yeah, Park. I'm not sure if he's dead yet, but he was bleeding pretty bad. Yeah. He got roughed up by the police. He was getting arrested. From the video, he was like mild resistant, I yeah. guess you could say, just not giving his hand. And he had his camera. He had a camera in his hand, his phone. Yeah, he had his phone in his hand. The cop put him in a little chokehold, dropped him. You see blood leaking head. everywhere. And then proceeded knee. to push his knee in his neck. Which I feel is what really fucked him up. Yeah, I think you got, I think the, killed, you got the initial smack of getting hit on the head on the pavement, and then as soon as that happens, you put the knee in the neck. It's just like a double whammy. That yeah. was crazy. It was all on video. The person I, filming it even stated to the cop like, "Oh, his head's bleeding." Yeah, you can see it from how far the video was. You can yeah, see it. He was red. Weekend. I don't know. I think these guys need to get retrained, bro. Retrain. Cause yeah, they're training. Makes no is sense because this, this knee to the neck thing. I'm not down with it. Like your neck. Even whipping not... someone, even whipping someone like that, like you have to be receiving a certain amount of force to give a certain amount of force back to somebody like that. Yeah. Like somebody not giving your hand is not cause to smack their head off the pavement. Like, bro, that guy looks like somebody's grandpa, bro. Yeah, as an like, older, old older man, person from the really... looks of the video. I don't know, man. Cops, you guys are just bugging sometimes, man. Yeah, these niggas need four years. I doubt it was anything serious for someone to get their head cracked. Like it wasn't. Like he, I, he wasn't I really bothered. doubt it was anything that serious. He didn't seem like he was like violently attacking anybody. He was just talking. He might have been drunk. Yeah. There was like a little bit of the video before argument, him and somebody. But it just didn't warrant his head being yeah. cracked like, like an egg on the floor. And I don't feel like he was going to attack anyone. Like, for him to pull out a camera to try to record whoever he was talking to, mm -hmm. I don't seem like he was going to... The cop, like, as soon as he buzzed his him. head and he wasn't moving, I feel like he, he, he kind of realized, he like, yo, up. I fucked up. He knew he fucked up. Like, I fucked... Because only he could have heard the sound of his head hitting the ground. Mm -hmm. Like, from the video so high up, you're, you're not going to be able to hear that. But he probably heard the man's head crack off the floor. He knew what happened. He knew what happened, man. This is one thing. Just they need more training, man. Yeah, man. And then you it's got supposed officers to be protected, like that are just Most foolish. of the time, you're like just not even doing that. Yeah, foolish officers, man. Yeah. Foolish officers. Just like the chair girl. Yeah. Foolish <laughs> gal, bro. Throwing chairs on the all fucking about highway. Her, She's a fool for that, man. What do you think about her little sentence they gave up? 150 hours. Stop in the 150 hours community yeah, service. $2,000 fine. Like, what would have happened if she hit a car? She could have killed somebody. 
Multiple. It would have led to like multiple. You know what I mean? Okay. Multiple uh, car crashes. Shit, all of that's just for views. People make stupid decisions like yeah. that. Like, but you got. People make stupid decisions, and then you have a decision like that, that's stupid, but it could just kill somebody for nothing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you could, you could be stupid and dance on a bar, dance on top of the table at a bar. You know what I mean? Yeah. And You're not going to kill somebody. You might hurt yourself, break something, whatever. But throwing, throwing a, a chair? chair on a highway yeah. could have killed beer people. That she's hits a, a car, for that. hits anybody in the head. Yeah, the pressure of that just fly. Anyone that was close would have just got it. Yeah, she was bugging for that. I'm not here to wish jail time on yeah, nobody, you. but I just wanted to state that she's. I think a she fool. got slapped on the wrist. She got lucky. She better fix up after that. Yeah, she her and lucky, whatever. Like, 150 cause... hours in the two grand. That's between her and the thing. Yeah. I personally just think she's a fool. That's my two cents on that. And then people are gonna make her, you know, bigger than what it is though. True. What did her her lawyer said she lost work? I guess the Drake video. <laughs> oh, but that's her. Whose fault is that? That's her own fault. She she's on that through the chair. She got scooped up by Chromas, bro. Your ting, bro. <laughs> Your baby mom's. Ah. <laughs> scooped her up in the foreign on CB24 live and direct. Bars. Where was you at, man? Uh, trying to slide in Chroma's DM again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not working out for you, man. <laughs> Not working out for you. So I'm gonna shoot till I make. Yo, sure. <laughs> Good old. All right, man. Let's talk about Americans again, real quick, here, man. Why do Americans wear their shoes inside people's houses? <laughs> like, where does that come from? Like, who raised you? You just wear. You just walk into somebody's house and. It's just like normal, like your shoes aren't completely dirty, even if you can't see the dirt. Like them <laughs> shits is dirty, bro. Americans is Holy dirty. Holy shit! I don't You're walking outside that. all day with that. Even on like all the American shows, like they're all wearing shoes in the house. Like take off your shoes and relax your feet, man. You know, Rod Rich had to tell them that. Holy don't shit! Don't wear no shoes in my house. Yeah, like at least some people over there have sense. I'm not sure the Caribbean people in America is going for that, bro. No. I don't think <laughs> no, they're going no for Caribbean, that. No Caribbean, no African. The, the Asians aren't going for that. No, like, no just, immigrant. Yeah, no immigrants <laughs> are going for that. It's just the, the Americans. You guys are on the ride. I don't well, know don't where that came from, shoes. though. Just come in my house. I don't, yeah. I don't know the why fuck? they do that. Has it always been like that? Like, I don't know. That's weird. And they try to look at us like we're weird because we take off our shoes. To go into somebody's house, <laughs> like, it's like almost common sense. Worst thing I see is some some of them jump in their bed and couches with their shoes on. Like, yeah, like no outside clothes on yeah, the bed, man. That's, that's wild. Just keep the outside clean. You know what I mean? Yeah, Americans, you guys are bugging. I don't know what type of habit you have. <laughs> that's why they have the most coronavirus, bro. Because they're corona. Just like all the that video dirt at Niagara house. Falls. You seen the video at Niagara Falls? Which one? With the two boats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Canadian boat. Empty. The American boat. Wait. Full up. Pack up, bro. Like, no room in there. Like, you guys have no care. You guys just have no care. Yeah. I just found that video kind of funny. Like, oh, Here's Canada's boat. Here's America's boat. And it just, it just reflects the numbers. Yeah. It, the it literally too. reflects the numbers. You know what I mean? Like, we do have it here. There was people in the Canadian boat, but not in bulk like you guys. The thing, we don't have that much people, you know? Mm -hmm. Canada's, like, so empty compared to America. Like, they have so much people, so I think they just... And it's hot. <laughs> You're not buying a ticket for the American boat? Never that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Staying away from Corona over there. Stay away from the Rona. What's happening in Edmonton? Every day I hear them talking about they're releasing a fucking predator yeah, somewhere two. in the city. On the like, what is up with that? And they're like, be on the lookout. This predator is released, released on bail. Well, just don't release them, bro. Keep them in there. Where are you I think those like, are the where worst you people send in the them? world. You gotta send them some, I don't know, 
Somewhere where there's no kids. I don't know. Speaking I of guess, which. I, so fucked up crime, right? But after somebody's done their time, it's like. You can't Bring just keep back. punishing them. You know what I mean? Like, they're still going to have to go on about their life some sort of way. Mm-hmm. Even though what they did is, like, super foul. They're still going to have to move about some way. Like, how do you think they should move about? Like, do you think they should be relocated out of the city where the crime happened? Or do you think... You should like, never when they get practice. out, they should just be in some type of therapy or programs for like a year, two, three years to they, make sure that they're they're not messing up, they're not... Like, what do you think they should do with them? Because you I, can't just keep them... I think the programs are good mm-hmm. and they should never bring them back to their same neighborhood because like, now imagine... Where the, where the, the crimes are Imagine coming. the kid, they did that too. He's walking out and sees them. You're traumatizing yeah, the crazy. kid again. You're bringing back yeah, all of that crazy. memory. Yeah, that's crazy. I personally, bro, I think they need to live in their own little island <laughs> and do what the fuck they want. No kids, no nothing. Just them, isolate them from people. Mm. You know, because I don't, I don't condone jail. Put them on I don't an know. island with no kids, yeah. and then just have speakers that just play kids' music yeah. all day long, loud. Because they're, they're all gonna burn in hell, bro. <laughs> they're gonna burn in hell, bro. They it's all deserve loud, to burn in hell. bro. Their kids' music haunt them, bro. Haunt them. Speakers, but all nighttime too. They get like one hour a day, no music. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> one hour, no music a day. <laughs> That's funny. It's sick because, like, Australia passed out that law, which I think Canada needs to do, mm-hmm. where they're mandatory to get what life in jail, all the pedophiles and, and rapists, all of that. Oh, yeah. That, that's it. That's I, th- I think Canada needs to do that. Like, no, definitely. The whole world needs to do that. It is a, it is a crazy crime story. Yeah. Pray for them, man. We're going to pray for them. Hopefully, they switch their ways and stop being nasty, man. I seen something crazy I'm trying to find earlier. Yeah, I seen this. Who's that? How they're trying to justify pedophilia? Who's trying to justify I don't know if you've seen this earlier. No, I ain't seen that shit. These guys are sick, bro. They're they're sick. They need Man, to go. Man, the internet they is to, disgusting. They're, they're, they need bro. to all die, bro. They need to go. The internet, Sorry. just the whole internet in general is just a disgusting place, man. Pray I think for the, the world has been a disgusting place, though. The people are fucked. Yeah, the world's always the, the been fucked. The people have been fucked before that. Everybody's just different, that. right? So, I think the internet is actually helping leak leaked information out. More people getting caught because of it. Mm. Even though the internet is fucked up, but... And it's fucked up. People do whatever they want on the internet. Yeah. Go on rants. Crazy. <laughs> Tell you that rants. Harriet Tubman <laughs> didn't do nothing for black people. He's... And they tell you that the movie Get Out is made about them. Mm-hmm. Like the internet is a crazy place for rants, man. Yeah. The fuck is up with Kanye? Kanye Kanye needs mental, mental, mental help. He needs Someone's got to take his phone. Yeah. I don't know if they got to take his phone, but like... Someone he's got to have a filter on his tweets and shit where <laughs> he tweets something and it goes to somebody else's phone first and then they proofread it yeah. and they accept if it could go out and then it goes out. You know what I mean? Like, I think celebrities need some type of system like that. I, th- I think... When you tech guys make that, send me a little piece. <laughs> That's a nice little app. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a smart Like, where it gets, like, a filter. Like, you can't just tweet what you want, bro. He's irresponsible with his his tweets. You know what I mean? He has a lot of followers. Like, when people like that say stuff, people take it, you know what I mean? Seriously. And run with it. Like, you can't be spewing that kind of information out. Fucking weirdo, man. It's tripping, bro. You're misguiding the youth. You're misguiding a lot of people. Mm. Yeah, like. Why are you even speaking about Harriet Tubman? Like, yeah. shut up, bro. Fucking weirdo. I think Kanye has nobody, which is sad, man, because... I think, I think he I th- has people. No, I, just, I think nobody cares, though. I think he has... There's people with I a lot of yes, care. man. I don't think they do, man. I think they're just happy they're getting money, getting paid, and they shut the fuck up when they... Con- I'm not really talking about them, but he does have family. He does... You know what I mean? He has a bunch of kids. Yeah. He has... I don't... I don't, I don't know. know. I'm... I don't know. I just think his his tweets need to be filtered. 
Like, he just can't be the one hitting send. Mm-hmm. Like, he can't be the one to hit send. Without it being proofread by somebody. And then he started crying or something, too. Like, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> he does these rants every couple of years, but he needs he needs help. He's not okay. And then he's Kanye talking. hasn't been okay since his mom passed, bro. Like, which is wild, because, like, I don't think he's been... I feel sorry he's, for anybody He's such a genius. That's, that's and, crazy. And it changes you, man. I don't think it's, you know, and people don't really take that in. But if you watch Kanye's career and watch how he changed since his mom died, yeah. And that's why I think he actually needs help. People are just laughing at it. People quick to make all of that. I actually think he actually needs, like, help, help. I guess he's a classic example. Of is this the same person that said, George Bush don't care about black people. And like, everybody in his side, then he's like, Harriet Tubman. Then he says this, like, he's all over the place. He's all over the place. Like, he's he the help. reason why people say money can't buy happiness. Yeah. But if he has, like, if he actually, did, like, he has bipolar, then it's a... Yeah. Do you have any sympathy for him? Me? Based on knowing that he is dying basing so yeah, bipolar. Basing knowing that how messed up he is, I do. But Where's some it? of the shit, sometimes I'm like, I have, like... The backlash he gets out of it, like the Harry Tubman thing, he deserves every ounce is, of it. He's gonna be like the boy, but cried he does wolf. need help, like the boy cried wolf type of vibe. Yeah, like he's gonna keep doing this so often that people are not gonna care. He does it another time when it's like more serious, and you really would want to pay attention. People are not gonna care because he's just done it so many times before. Because yeah. this is the second time, right? And he's trying to release music now. I guess it's like a repetitive process with him i don't know but see how he's like all over the place he's trying to run for the president trying to do this trying to do that trying like he's not he's not he's not stable america like you guys have trump biden and kanye west as your candidates out of all millions and millions of people you guys have that's that's crazy sauce right there i don't know i said kanye bro go grab denzel washington i'd rather him be the president (laughs) get get some people with like actual like you, like right state of mind right state of mind and just a track record of just positive just just positive yeah. you know what I mean and I feel like to be a president should be rewarded to somebody that's like like there's no valedictorians that are presidents and shit like you can't get somebody like that yeah, like the top person in the class can't be the president <laughs> Is that fucking Donald Trump and Kanye West? That's that's crazy. It's, you, I feel like it's more so popularity is what wins now. It's not even if these guys know anything about politics or anything. Because I, I swear to God, most of the world does not know anything about politics. They just follow. If they have to vote, they'll just vote. Mm. Well, people don't know shit. That's why it's easy for people like that to win. I won't be surprised if Kanye actually comes close to winning. I don't think he'd even come. The man, that guy out of here, man. <laughs> Dave Chappelle went to go check in. Yeah. That's a real friend. I respect Dave Chappelle for that. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Seeing people and people is different. Dave Chappelle, I guess, had similar experiences. So I guess he can kind of, like, with, Understand with the media, people talking, whatever about him. Yeah. So I guess he can kind of relate. That's probably why he went. Duval was calling him out. <laughs> Same thing you were saying, anyways. Lil Duval was calling yeah, him out. Yeah, Duval was just basically saying it was like he's kind of does the same thing every time. He was like, "Should we feel sorry for him?" Like everybody mm. has problems with baby mamas. Mm. What's happening in the gossip world, man? Any rappers pregnant? Cinder Nikki. Nicki Minaj is pregnant. Do you think she's... <laughs> Congrats to her, and I wish her a healthy pregnancy. Yeah. But music rock, why is you could kick rocks, <laughs> miss? For that bullshit you pulled. Other than that, congratulations, man. Do you think those people are wrong for, for trying to come at her, for posting her picture, her pregnancy picture, the same day Pop Smoke's birthday? I think people are on a ride, eh? I don't know she, if she... Wh- I don't think she she even thought about that. She just wanted to post every a day is somebody's birthday. Yeah, she just posted a picture. She didn't even think because this guy's birthday. You can't tell when you can't tell somebody when or when not to post their pregnancy pictures. Like 
Sometimes the internet just reacts in a way that's disgusting. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't even give that a second thought. Like, who cares? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Shout out to Nicki Minaj again. Wish her a healthy pregnancy, but music wise, go ahead. <laughs> Bill Nye, those signs got. Yeah. I've been seeing him pop up on social media lately. Why? My, my Where, child, where's he bro. been? With his animated self, man. I don't know what he's been up to lately, but he's an ultimate animated person, man. I Telling miss you to wear your class. mask. Yeah. Seen that video. Seen the next video. I can't really remember. I, I was just shocked to see Bill Nye. Still spitting that knowledge, yo. Spitting that science knowledge. Yo, I used to always think he's a real scientist. When I was a kid. He is a real scientist. No, is he? Yeah. I didn't know not that. Not a real scientist? I thought he was an actor. Yo, I think he's real. Yeah, he's not a fan. I, no, I bro, he's, he's not. Real. I guarantee you. Bill I man. think he's just an actor, bro. I don't think he's a nah, real scientist. Don't <laughs> do my guy like that. Yo, I'm, I'm not sure, bro. Man. Yo, fact check that. Huh? I don't think Bill, Bill Nye is a real deal, bro. Bill, it's not Chris yeah. Angel. Nah, Bill Nye. That's Bill science. Nye, that's Remember science. Remember classes? You, we all seen his, his videos. He's not a scientist? I don't is think he's a real scientist. How old is Bill Nye? 70? 67? He's actually 65. 65? He's young. It's not that old. Come on. Bill Nye, the science guy. I just love that part. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see him being... Oh, yeah, but he did take Bachelor of Science. Yeah, man. No. Put some respect on Bill's <laughs> name, bro. Put some respect on the nine name, man. Can't lie, though. He was actually one of my favorites. You learned so much from him. Mm-hmm. I wonder, do you think these kids have anything like Bill Nye? Like, A new know? Bill Nye? Yeah, it is. What's that other guy? Um... Well, I guess that guy is everywhere. The guy that does the cooking show, he does like the, the like weirdest nasty jobs or some shit like. Oh, that. okay, yeah, I know. You're Crazy about. hair looking guy, that blonde hair guy. Yeah, and he does like the science yeah. experiments and shit. I guess he's the new age Bill now. Hmm. What else is popping with gossip, man? I hope we didn't offend Meg. Well, I don't think we're big enough for her to hear our our yeah. little podcast, but. I rock with I hope Meg, we bro. didn't. I hope we didn't make fun of her, man. She was sending shots at people on Twitter that were laughing <laughs> at her getting shot. I think more so people were making fun of uh, Tory Lanez. Him too. We should yeah. all care about the well-being of women at all times. Yeah. You know what I mean? But jokes can fly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Little little shot in the foot. Like jokes can fly. You know what I mean? It could have been worse, but it's the internet. People are gonna make jokes. People don't stop. That's what it is. Tori's been super quiet, like a mouse. Is he out now? He's probably. He's just been super quiet, like a mouse, man. He hasn't put out no statement through. Because I want to hear the whole story. Management or anything like that. I don't think. I guess everybody's waiting for his. I was hearing that he was trying to protect her or something like that. Trying to protect her. He's busting a shot. (laughs) Been going down like that in LA in the hills like that. I don't know. Beefing in the hills like that, all crazy. Bro, I'm Seems sorry, like... but Tory Lanez is tiny, bro. He has to carry. <laughs> I'm sorry, certain tiny people man. just have to. I don't condone that, but <laughs> you know they're gonna test him. Like when you're being a rapper, bro. Yeah, they they go through it. What but I think he needs better security, huh? What you have to send up? Probably the LA County. <laughs> so he's still locked up. I have no idea. I just know he's been super quiet. He hasn't made a statement about yeah. any of it. Meg's been talking on Twitter and shit like that. Yeah. I can't lie. Tory Lanez had a big year, too. You know? yeah. So hopefully hopefully this shit doesn't stun. Stun Meg versus that. Tory beef. What other beefs going on in America? Who's beefing right now? Um, oh, the QC? QC and Amigos. What? Then, yeah. And Lil Yachty too is done so, not getting his guap like that. So, so they're Joe Budden was right him. when he snapped up these guys. Taking money from them or some shit like that? I don't know. I didn't expect that. Poor guys, yo. Getting getting robbed. It's not good, man. What, did they sign a 360 deal? I doubt that. They probably had it like... 
They don't look like they signed a 360. Some deal. people, you know. They look like they have more money than someone that signed a 360. But I don't like that. Though. I don't know. No, hopefully they they can they can work that out, man. Idea. Get what's old to them and shit. Cause you know when when rappers beef with their the people that brought them in, it's not it's not always good. I don't like it. It's like when Stuff Wayne like this is it. common. Yeah, it's common, but it's Something not good like to see. You know, music industry is common. I would think. I didn't expect that from quality control at all. No, nah, they look like they had good relationship yeah. with their artists. And, and they they own vouchers for them very well, so. Mm. I think it could be a mis- misunderstanding because the news just came out too, right? We don't, we don't know the full thing. No? Mm. Yeah. Did QC just, say anything? I think he did make a statement. I got to see QC's statement. Before I get back. I, mean. mm. I can't remember what he said, but I think it was along the lines of, I was rich before I came in this. Yeah. And I'm not going to let anybody try to destroy our name, blah, blah, blah. So, we just see what happens there. Yeah. I don't see... Yeah, I respect QC a lot, so I don't not... I want to see the full story before I actually say anything about that. Mm. You know? Because the Migos made a lot of hits, man. Like, mm. I don't... I don't see... I don't like people like getting robbed out of their money, out of their hard work. Out of any situation, a lot of top you know? songs. Yeah, a lot of top songs. Bro, they beat the Beatles in their thing. Mm. No, I respect them. Speaking of top songs, we kind of switched our top song format. Yeah. Instead of three songs, we're gonna be doing five songs. First on the list, who do we got this week? Who do we? Swagger song? light. Swagger right like this. Quarter mill in the safe. I'm moving watts like that. I like I like swagger right's music. Yeah, it's the first time I actually heard it today. It sound too bad stuff. So. I'm actually bum more of him. I never really listened to him. Yeah, Swagger Red, Swagger Red's good artist out of Toronto. Who's next? The Crook Killer. The crook again. I think Crook's he's already hard. been on our list. Yeah, he's back. If he keeps dropping music like this, he might be in a week every week. <laughs> yeah, he's good. He do, he don't make whack music. Nah, mm-hmm. all I, his I songs are consistent. Whack. All grown shit. It's not. And his visuals are, are solid, too. His visuals. Mm-hmm. So. Did he use the same director or video art, whatever? It might be. Who are some of the top like video people out there? Edmonton? No, or Toronto. Toronto. Like, who's shooting much. all the videos out there? I can't think of any names that would stand out, though. Whoever been shooting PAX last two videos there? Yeah. Pax. Like, Next I'll put him. Yeah. Once I figure out his name, then I'll plug his name on. Jason over. Pax He's... Pew Pew. I like that video. Yeah. Little cartoon vibe. Cartoon vibe. Whoever edits it is like amazing. Different. Must be the same person as the last video, right? Yeah, it was. Mm. That's a it's a cool little editing style. Yeah. Who else we got? Moolah first. Drill some more for. This one is fire. He's been super consistent. Like, he's dropped, like, eight-plus videos in the last little while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those guys over there make pretty good music, man. I want to see more, 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 more. Mm-hmm. Um, he dropped that last song, Amazon Prime and Dead Man. Little diss song. I like that song, though. And Repercussion with Pyrex and Pillow B. That was a fire song, yeah. too. Just started listening to Pyrex. I'm going nice. to take him in more. He's... Yeah, you can go on stuff. From what you showed me, see. it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm actually download this shit and listen. Because what I heard off of that one song there... Yeah. ...sparked my attention, and I started hearing the one, two songs, and he can go on. I'm gonna actually download all these tapes. I'm gonna try. You know what a Pyrex feature, yo? <laughs> a Pyrex? Get you a Pyrex feature, man. And last on the list, Duvi featuring BK, Two Sides of Me. They look like young youths. Yeah, I think they could be probably 20. Yeah, they look young. They have a good little song, good visuals. They make pretty decent music yeah. for how, how young they look. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they could keep that up, keep it going and shit like that. They're doing good numbers too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotta keep that going. 
Yeah, man, that's our top five songs from Toronto. Salute to all of them. Coming to the end of the podcast. What's going on in the sports, man? Got Edmonton, NHL coming. Is it the end CFL of the month? changed the name of the Eskimos. Yeah. What are they going to change it to? Right now, they put the EE with Edmonton. It's just Edmonton, Edmonton E. Yeah, that's from yeah, my The E represented Eskimo. You can't just keep. Well, the e. they're they're scratching the Eskimo and they're just leaving the E until they figure yeah. out a name to replace the E with. How do they figure out names and stuff for shit like that? Votes. Yeah. yeah. Well, because they, they have to get rid of the Eskimo something? name because how they got rid of the Indian name. It's, it's nah, like what is the process of like coming up with a name? Is it like one particular person or owners? Uh, there's people that come up brainstorm with names and together. I think that has to be a vote. I think that has to be like a major, yeah. So what is is it, is the old merchandise gonna be like going up in price or something? Oh, it's selling like crazy right now. All the prices, like everything, is selling out. People are asking Nothing's for more. Nothing's gonna be left. Yeah. 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 After a few years, it disappear. Yeah. yeah. Gonna be vintage. All the Eskimo things should skyrocket it. I'm gonna go buy me two Eskimo somethings. Yeah. Gotta buy like a legendary jersey. Mm. What's happening in the NBA, man? These guys are stuck in the bubble right now. So the first skirmish games happen today, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the league is gonna start in a week. Mm. Like the real games or so. Any big players not, not coming back? Mm. Like who are some of like the the stars that aren't returning? Uh, the the only team I know that's hurting a lot is half of Brooklyn, and Clippers today just lost Beverly. I don't. It's not due to Corona, but he had to leave to like emergency for a family what about, emergency. What about the um Golden State Warriors? They're not even the the bubble. I don't know. They didn't even make but it. They need they need to heal up anyway. Yeah, because they're like almost last place team right what's now. What's problem with the Raptors? They're gonna be scary in the East. They're third right now. Think we could go back to back? It's possible uh, with this tournament. Anything is go possible. Back to back? No, it's not like a regular season, right? It could happen. This is like a different environment. Yeah, actually, I don't. Know. There's no home court advantage. <laughs> actually, it could happen. There's no home court advantage. The Raptors right? go the Raptors? back to back yeah. with the chip. Oh there no. no There's no fans. There's it's just it's literally a. Pick up basketball game. Yo, I just want Toronto to go back to back real quick. That'll be amazing for the city. The oh, city would get rioted. Like people would like burn shit. They'll be so happy. I don't know if that's even possible, but I Toronto never needs Devin that. Booker. Yeah. Burning your city when you guys win? I'll never understand that. Like celebrating? Yeah. Like I can see you burning and you lost and shit. Like, ah fuck these guys. But like you won. You haven't you seen any the hockey fans then drink drink. Then go get the fireworks <laughs> and shit. Go get the party pops and shit. Burning down shit when you win is crazy. Oh, Anything no, else like... you have to talk about today? I don't got shit else. Spotted. And it's a wrap, man. Another episode done. Episode four. Subscribe to our Instagram, Cold Weekend, Snapchat, Cold Weekend, everything Cold Weekend. Our podcast is now on Spotify, Apple, Google, SoundCloud, all that shit. Yeah. Link the link, link in, in the, the bio. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. Like. More. Hit that like button, man. Yeah. And comment. So that shit grow. Yeah, leave a comment. Anything you think we could change, any shit like that, let us know, man. You rascals, go. Mutate them. Like, I could see early trials of stuff like that mutating people. I'm cool. not down with that, though, because I don't know what they have in those vaccines. I don't trust. That's what I'm I don't saying. Trust like them, the, people, the fact that they the, said, "Oh, let's go test it in Africa." Fuck you guys. That too. That's fucked up. But it's like, yo, I feel, I feel bad for the people that's first being tested, man. Like to be the first guinea pig for something like that is crazy. Why don't you go test it where it has the most cases?